So in the last video, I explained how to add your own font sizes to the theme.json file using properties name, slug, and size. There's also a property available in the typography object if you have it enabled. Now this property is called fluid. Now the name suggests it's perfectly aligned with the fluid nature of the web, meaning it adapts to the device your website is being viewed on, whether it's a mobile, a tablet, a large super widescreen desktop, or even a wide format TV. And yes, users do view websites on TV screens. Now this introduces the concept of intrinsic design as opposed to responsive design. So considering the following example in traditional CSS, on mobile devices, you want to show your paragraph text at 16 pixels, but on desktop or larger, you want to show the paragraph text at 32 pixels. You'd use a media query to achieve this, which is a traditional responsive design concept where you add a media query to change the size when the screen size is larger. Now this can be radically simplified using the intrinsic design approach with a CSS function called clamp. Now this function takes three parameters, a min value, a preferred value, and a max value. And the magic of using this method is that it not only reduces the amount of CSS, making it more performant, but the parameters can also be calculated based on the device or the viewport being used. Now I'm not gonna get into the complexities of figuring out those calculations because WordPress does all of that for you under the hood, as long as you have things set up correctly in your theme.json file. So let me show you how to do that. And the first thing to set in the settings and typography object is fluid equal to true. Then in any of your font sizes, you can set the property fluid with an object properties for max, which represents the maximum font size to grow to, and min, which represents the minimum font size to shrink to. Now, one thing to be aware of, if you set the settings for the typography and fluid to true, then all of the font sizes will inherit the default WordPress calculations under the hood. So if you explicitly want to set a font size, you must explicitly set the fluid property to false. And this will then respect what you set in your particular font size. Now let me demonstrate this. So go back to your theme.json file and in the large font size, I'm gonna add fluid. I'm gonna set max to six rem and min to two rem. And in my extra large object, I'm gonna set the size to 96 pixels. Now, if you go back to the block editor, add a heading block, set the font size to large, Add another heading block, but this time set it to extra large. Save the page and view it in the browser. Now, if we adjust the screen size, notice both headings grow and shrink, but we didn't set fluid on the extra large font size. Now that's because WordPress defaults all font sizes to use fluid unless you explicitly declare it as false on a particular font size. So to correct this, go back to your theme.json file and set fluid to false on any particular font size. In my case, the extra large. I'll save the file, go back to the front end, refresh the page, and now if we adjust the screen size, notice only the large font size shrinks and grows, whereas the extra large font size remains static at the size we set with fluid explicitly set to false. And that's how you apply fluid to font sizes and exploit the method of intrinsic design over responsive design breakpoints. So as always, if you found this helpful, you can show your appreciation by clicking the like button and feel free to subscribe for more quick tips like this.